Hey everyone, welcome to another lesson in this brand new course, which is on Selenium WebDriver with Python. So you might already know what is Python, right? So Python is a programming language just like Java. But slowly and steadily, it is now emerging as the most preferred and the favorite language among all the other programming languages. And there is a reason for that. Okay. So it is also one of the most popular languages currently in the world because of the features it provides and the ease of use. So we are going to look at all the differences between two programming languages which are very popular, Python and Java. Now the most striking feature of Python is it is an interpreted object oriented and high level language. Now the object oriented concepts and the high level concepts, right? They remain the same across most of the languages like Java or C sharp or C++, right? But Python is an interpreted language and that is what is different between Python and Java. Okay, so in Python, you don't need to compile the code which you have written, but in Java, you need to compile the complete code before you can run that program, right? And Python, it uses an interpreter, which is another program which runs your code line by line. Okay, so that's one of the most striking feature of Python, and we'll see what are the advantages of using an interpreter instead of a compiled and interpreted language. The third most uh, important feature of Python, it's simple and easy to learn, right? So during this course, you will see that um, it is quite easy to uh, write Python code when you compare it uh, with some other languages like Java or C Sharp, right? Which are also object oriented languages, but there are some striking differences. So it is uh, considered simple and also it is considered easy to learn compared to any other languages which you come across. Now we are talking about how it is easy to learn and the simple thing is the syntax is pretty simple, okay? And how it is and why it is simple, we'll look at it later. It is also easily readable, okay? So anybody looking at the code can make out what you are trying to do or uh, perform any particular operation when you are writing some Python code. Also, it encourages program modularity and also code reuse, right? So by default, um, all your programs would be modular, right? So the way you write Python code, uh, it encourages that modularity. And also you can reuse the code which you have written by just creating different libraries, okay? And also, it's not specific to any platform, right? So you can run your Python code on any platform, right? So Windows, Mac, Linux, anything. And the last but not the least, it is free and open source, right? So it is um, completely free. You don't need to pay anything for any feature of Python you are using. Also, it's completely open source, so even you can contribute if you want into this Python source code, right? Now coming to some differences between two most popular languages going around, right? Python and Java. And the reason I'm uh, showing you this is because many of you would have already worked in uh, Selenium with Java, right? And you must be thinking, What's so different between, um, or why should I learn uh, Selenium WebDriver with the Python language when I have already learned another language, which is Java, right? So uh, the differences are good to know and also pretty important, right? If you're working on both the languages. Okay, so I've listed down some of the differences. Obviously, these are not all the differences, but uh, the most important difference is, as I said earlier, Python is an interpreted language, okay? While Java is a compiled and interpreted language. So every line of code which you write in Java has to be compiled before it can be run. But it's not the case in Python. You can directly run uh, the code without compiling that particular code, okay? So that's what uh, is meant by compiled and interpreted, which is uh, for Java, but not for Python. Then 
uh, python is a dynamically typed language okay but java is a statically typed language and what it means is you need to declare all your variables when you are writing any code in a language like java but python doesn't require it okay so it's dynamically typed language and there you don't need to define or declare your variables before you use them you can directly write um, some code with a particular variable and python would know that it is this kind of variable so we'll be learning this uh, later on when we talk more about variables okay now coming to uh, different applications which uh, both the languages support so python is more used for artificial intelligence machine learning uh, application development image processing right so and a lot of other complex applications uh, java is mostly used for uh, web desktop uh, mobile applications right development of all these applications is mostly done on java coming to um, the development of or the code development right so python programs can be developed faster uh, because you have to write lesser code and also the syntax is pretty simple right but in case of java you need to take longer time to develop your code base because you have to write more lines of code right because it's a statically typed language you have to spend more time and effort in order to build your code base but that's not the case in python and we'll be seeing that when we uh, go ahead learning this language python is um, also very easy to learn and use and we'll see that uh, java is little complex to learn and use uh, it's a pretty uh, huge uh, language right so it has got lots of things to learn so uh, you can't just learn java in a single day right so it's if I compare both the languages, Java could be a little complex um, and Python could be a little less complex. Okay. Coming to stability. So in this case, uh, Java trumps over Python because Java code is compiled before it can be run, right? Hence, it is considered more stable. But Python at the same time as uh, you're directly running your code, right? Uh, it is not as stable because you have not compiled the code. So you don't know what is wrong in your code, right? Um, it will only test the code at the runtime. So it is a little bit less stable than Java. Okay, so these are some of the uh, important features between the two languages. Um, and there are lots of other differences which we'll be learning when we'll be um, going through this course and uh, looking at each feature of Python. Okay, so we have talked a lot about uh, Python, uh, what are the features, what are the differences with other languages, right? Now, um, let's get to directly to how you can set up Python on your Windows machine, right? Now, it's not necessary that you'll be, uh, you have to install Python on Windows. As I said, it can be um, run on any particular platform, right? So Windows, Linux, Mac, but since uh, in this particular training I'll be focusing on Windows so I'll be showing you how you can install Python on Windows okay so just for the matter this is the URL where all the downloads are listed right so all the setup for all the different platforms are listed so you can directly go to this and um, download the specific version for your platform and if uh, you want to directly go to the URL, then these are all the different URLs for Windows, for Linux, Unix, and for Mac OS, okay? So uh, let's go to this particular URL and we'll see how you can download and install Python on Windows. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on the Python's download page, okay, uh, where as I said, you will get the installer for uh, all the different platforms uh, mac linux and windows okay um, here it is already listed you can download the latest version for windows the setup is pretty simple you just need to follow the instructions given on the screen okay so let's go ahead and download this python installer for windows it should be pretty quick okay and once it's done let's open this it's a pretty simple uh, exe and as i said you just need to follow the instructions okay so i'll just uh, select 
add Python 3.1 to path so that um, it directly gets added to the system path, right? Otherwise, you can also do it manually, going to the environment variables and adding the system path, okay? Um, I will directly select install now to get all the default installation on my windows, okay? So it will take some time to uh, install this particular setup. And once it's completed, we can then verify whether it is installed correctly or not on our Windows machine. Okay, as you can see, uh, the setup was successful. Uh, if you're new to Python, you can um, also go to the online tutorial, which is present and some documentation, right? Uh, now, if you don't know how to launch Python, you can launch it using your terminal, right? So you have to just type py and it will start Python on your Windows machine. So I'll close this window and I will launch my command prompt, right? Here, as I said, you can type py and it will show you the Python terminal, okay? So it will show you the Python version which is installed, which is 3.0 and it will also show you a prompt, okay? And you can um, directly write some Python code and test it even. Right, so that's how simple it is. So if I say print and I will say just two, right? Okay, so uh, it is showing some error. Um, now we'll learn about all this syntax, but I just wanted to show you a simple syntax, right? So since uh, Python 3.1 or since Python 3, the print syntax has changed a little bit so in python 2 you could have done this directly but uh, after python 3 you need to put parenthesis after print command okay so as you can see i can print a number directly in this console um, i can also do a text hello world right so it will print hello world so that's how simple python is as you can see uh, we are going to learn a lot more uh, of Python coding uh, before we jump into uh, setting up Selenium WebDriver with Python.